Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and do an everyday like more detailed look or like kind of explain what I do for my everyday makeup. I'm gonna start with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So this is my favorite primer. I used to use the Smashbox Photo Finish one and I believe that's like 30 something dollars versus this one's like six. I've obviously already used a fuck ton of it. I have really bad pores. I don't know if it's like something that's really noticeable on camera probably not and I'm like breaking out really bad so I can kind of show you how I hide my breakouts I guess so to say it under my eye not like directly but if there's a little some left over then I'll bring it up there to kind of help with creasing I mean creasing under the eye with concealer is kind of inevitable it's gonna happen no matter what can you guys actually see? I feel like it really provides a difference in my face. I'm trying to like talk more and make my videos longer and I am wearing a top, but it's kind of hard. And then honestly for foundations, my favorite is the Fenty Beauty one, but this is in 240. So it's a bit too light for me right now. So I'm gonna use the Super Stay Full Coverage from Maybelline in the shade 310, which obviously you could see. There's a huge difference in that. Oh my god. I, I messed up because I was like poking around at my face and look. It's a big red like matcha. But I'm not really that big of a fan on it. It's like super thick and I guess I just got used to the Fenty one because the Fenty one, if you've used it, it's thin. It's more of a thinner consistency why I'm breaking out so much because I always use my fingers for shit and then this is my favorite sponge it's the eco tools one compared to like the real technique sponge I would definitely recommend this one any day and then even though I do have like a lot of acne right now I'm always going to prefer to use a sponge with something like as thick as this just to kind of share out the consistency I guess I just don't like my face to feel heavy like yeah I'm wearing makeup but I don't want it to be heavy. Bring it down to my neck a bit. I'm pretty sure you can see the coverage. Or like, I I hate when that happens. And I have like my little old lady mouth. Oh my God, it looks so weird. So now for contour and concealer. Or e oh my God, I hate when people say concealer concealer like mm, it irks my soul which one's really fucked up because like everybody's gonna say something differently and i know that i do not talk the best but i hate when people say concealer concealer okay so my go-to products like hands down already for like a year no just what for more than a year maybe like three years I've been using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour. It just looks like this. I honestly would definitely compare this to the Rihanna Contour Sticks. The, I think they're like matchsticks. And this is Where's My Walnut. So what I like to do for contouring, I'm not the best, so don't quote a bitch. I will grab it from the corner of my eyebrow all the way down. Just like that because i feel like with starting it that high up it makes my nose like appear longer and slimmer i go on the sides of my nostrils because i feel like i have a wide nose so creating that shadow will kind of help for it i'm gonna go underneath to kind of give me like more of a budded nose because my nose kind of goes down and then just go around that's just the way that i contour and I know damn well it's not the best because you'll see, you'll see what I do. But honestly, whatever works for you, works for you. Love, 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 love this concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo, what is it, 16 hour camo concealer in medium beige. It is thick. I, I don't mind a thick concealer. <laughs> I don't mind a thick concealer. Concealer. What the fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, it's very comparable to the Too Faced one. It has a very thick applicator. A lot of product will come out on just like one little like thing. So I 
I don't really have um, a specific like way that I put it. I just put it like underneath. And again, I'm not going directly under my eye. I feel like the product will go up there. And if I put it directly under my eye, it's just gonna look cakier. And then I don't color correct, but I have darkness on the sides of my mouth, so. Put a little bit of concealer there. And some on my chin. And then I'll just take the other side, like the smaller side. Start blending that bad boy out. I don't really, I don't think, well, I kind of start from the outside, honestly, because I want to create more of like a seamless transition from foundation to concealer highlight. Bring that up. And then I'll take it this way to blend out the contour as well. For this, I had to like get up close, so don't mind. Take a foundation brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush. And in between, like, I just like to go pat it in, stipple it in, stipple it to kind of just blend it more. Like I said, I really want to try to avoid having that difference. So I'm going to start from the end of like my sideburn and bring it halfway in, not all the way, but halfway in. Just because like I said, I, I move the products around so I don't feel the need to go that harsh or yeah, I guess like harsh would be a good way to put that. And I'm gonna use this Royal Line Nickel brush. It's just a stippler brush. And then I go from the outside, just stippling it. And then that's when I'll start to like bring the product more um, like in towards here to kind of give me more of that like look, if that makes sense. Kind of like how a skeleton's head is shaped for some weird reason. Like, I, I just feel like it really defines it more, like. And then lastly, <laughs> this little, like, pop out right here. No. We're going to try to get rid of her. Literally, I, like, just barely glide it on my jaw. Just to give me more. You know, she just want to lose some weight. She just want to lose some weight without having to lose weight or you know what you chop it or whatever. So I just blend it. I'll kind of have like I'll fill out the jaw. Or like I'll fill the jaw within the brush. And that's where I just kind of blend it in. I definitely feel like that cut my jaw more. Using the hard candy bacon brighten sheer envy. But I don't like it. <laughs> To say the least, I don't like it. I'm looking for a new one, but the thing is, I do like to use more like budget-friendly products, just because I know not everybody's gonna want to drop money, and that's kind of how I feel. Like I feel like I've used very affordable products so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do have some stuff that is high end, but okay. So for baking, I like just do the normal baking routine. But I don't actually bake it like I swipe it off once I'm done putting it everywhere. Just gonna do that. I like to bring it on the side of my nose like this because I feel like it gives it more of a contour too. And put down my nose because I'm oily as hell and then put some here a little there there literally just like that like 
it makes no sense but it works for me and apparently you guys like it hmm. i don't know maybe the light washes me a little too much but like as you can see i'm not really like letting it stay for too long because i just immediately brush it Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 32, wait, 32 and 32 Golden Caramel. I'm gonna go back in with the Bacon Bright Powder. So I can contour, powder contour, but I do like to cut it. I'll start at, again, like the end and just suck it in. And go. And if you do this, or if you like end up doing this and you feel like it works for you, then like I'm happy. But again, don't expect the fucking world out of a regular smuggler age, girl. So to powder contour now, I usually really like using the Wet n Wild one, but I ran out. So I'm going to use a Morphe um, Brontour in Vlogger, but I actually just use, um, uh, I just use uh, this side. The less orangey, more cool tone side. Again, start off, start in the outer, bring it in. Never start in because if you mess up, it's gonna be a lot harder. I really don't like to lose color from my face. Like I want to have that dimensions. I want. I really want to have like dimension and warmth. So it's like a little. Run it around here. Like my cheeks are contoured. I am going to use the same thing, with like this kind of brush. I don't know. Like it's more of like a pinched brush. If you can tell, and that's what I use to like contour for my nose. Always like. Whenever you you know just. Tap it out so you don't go initially like right in. I don't press it. I just lightly like go against it like so. And first is like pressing it. Just brush. And again, start from the um, corner of my brow down. So for blush, I just use a powder brush. Um, I alternate a lot um, between these two. This is Maxi Blush, and I think it's like Cheeky or something. Oh, and Sweet Cheeks. It's more of like a peachy. And then this is Peach from Maybelline Femi, but it honestly doesn't look peachy. It's more like a rosy with some gold like flecks. Oh, there you go. I love it because it just gives my face like an overall glow. And if that's something that you like want an overall glow in your face, I would definitely like use a cheek. Uh, <sighs> swear to God, like I'd be trying to talk and then I talk fast because I get nervous and I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend something that has some shimmer, like just slight little gold flecks if you want like a really all around nice glowy like sun kissed look. So I go I go in with my blush because I like to look sun kissed. I look like I was out in the sun, I'm just bringing color and warmth. I hate flat like faces like where people just put foundation and like powder but don't contour or really put blush or anything like that. I I I, just, I don't like it. I think it's ugly. So yeah, <laughs> people are probably like, "Bitch, you are not want to talk," but it's okay, baby. Um, I kind of do it the way that I contour also. Um. I'll do it and then like you guys can kind of get as to what I'm doing. Like I kind of contour it, bring it out, and then bring it into my cheeks. Like to my cheek, cheek apples on my cheeks. So if you notice, like I started from the outside, brought it in, I smiled so my cheek, um, apples on my cheek will show. Believe it or not, I used to not wear blush. I used to not wear it, but now I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. I do go a little bit under my, or... I do, do, uh, uh, I do put a little bit on my chin, on my nose, kind of like this when I do my nose, just to pass the color along like that. One of the most important things I will say to do, and like please, 
please, please do this. I will get whatever like facial spray, setting spray, whatever the fuck, spray myself. Grab the cleaner side of my sponge, bounce it in because I feel like that really eliminates like the cakiness and kind of helps um, the product more like kind of blend in and sink into your face. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm pretty sure you guys can get it. Like literally, please rewind it back to like five seconds ago and how I looked versus after I finished doing this. And you're gonna see that it really just helps it um, blend in and sink into my face. I don't know. It just overall looks more like healthy skin versus the powder. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Loose. This is a loose highlight first. So I'll go in with loose, and then I'll take this Laura Geller out. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> Lauren Geller analyzed one, Alan eyes. Yeah, it's a pressed one, so I'll go in with that. Um, I literally just use a random little fluffy brush. Do that, you know? And I'll really try to focus that like on my actual cheekbone. Like I got a chubby ass face, so that's why you guys see me like and stuff to really bring out like those bones. Alright, so now I'm going with this bad boy. And versus like going everywhere, I will focus it like on the actual like cheekbone. I feel like it just adds more dimension to my highlight. Same way, so start off with the tip of my nose. And then from here to right there. Not all the way, like I said, I'm doing an exclamation point, which is, and then, well, something like that, you know? Oh, we can really tell. Yeah, go back into my eyebrows, because they got powder on them, sis, they got powder. Alright guys, so this does conclude this week's video. Um, my everyday face makeup, sometimes my eyes vary, I'll switch it up with either just eyelashes most of the time. But she's been a little extra with it, so... We just did some liner but go ahead and leave me a comment subscribe because i will be posting every tuesday so keep up with your girl